Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Ryan here, and you might have noticed a little change in the title. And uh, it's called Ryan Rambles. I've uh, actually changed um, the name of my um, rant about the Nintendo DRM on the mobile apps to uh, a rough part of the Ryan Rambles series, because I consider it part of, well, Ryan Rambles. And uh, that's pretty much um, like what I'm going to call it from now on. I'm probably going to make more of these in the future. Or not, it might end up being like one of those series where I just, um, I just don't. <laughs> but, yeah. Sorry, uh, it's, it's really unprofessional. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm, I think as you were wondering, I got a little spit on the, my phone. But that's besides the point, that's besides the point. Uh, but yeah, um, that's what I'm going to call uh, the series from now on, Ryan Rambles. And uh, today, Ryan is going to ramble about why the Switch went so well at launch. Yes, I'm just referring to myself in the other person. Don't tell anyone. But yeah, the Switch, I don't think it's going to sell well at launch. Remember that. And uh, you want to know why? It's because of the launch lineup. There is only... Five games. Five. And uh, I want to go over why those aren't enough to sell the system. Uh, first one, uh, I'm going to get the elephant in the room out of the way, Breath of the Wild. Now you might be thinking, Ryan, uh, Breath of the Wild is a huge game. It's going to sell this system. It's enough to be able to uh, sell the Switch. Which might be true. If it wasn't for the fact that it's also coming to the Wii U. Now, uh, you might be thinking, oh, but it's going to run better and uh, people who don't have a Wii U, which is a lot, uh, people who don't have a Wii U are just going to get the Switch version. I'm going to get a Switch along with Breath of the Wild. I actually did um, a little bit of research and uh, sure it might run better, but I did a little bit of digging. And uh, as it turns out, it's actually cheaper to buy a Wii U for Breath of the Wild than it is to buy a Switch for Breath of the Wild. It, uh, it costs about 250 with a packing game, mind you. Uh, you can get one with Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, Super Mario Maker, Mario Kart 8, uh, there might be others like Rally Smash 4, uh, yeah. There are a lot. Uh, so yeah, it's actually cheaper to get a um, Switch for Breath of the Wild. No, no, no sorry, <laughs> I messed up. Uh, it's actually cheaper to buy a Wii U for Breath of the Wild than it is to buy a Switch for one. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild. And uh, if you see right now, uh, hopefully the camera picks up. I can't see. Uh, yeah, as you can probably, as I hope you can see, I uh, have a Wii U. So yeah, if the camera picks up on that, I apologise sincerely if it doesn't, but uh, I really hope it does. And yeah, it probably didn't, but my point is I have a Wii U. It's gonna be so unprofessional if it doesn't show. Anyway, now for the other two, like two other ones. Uh, one, two, Switch, and Super Bomberman R. Now, uh, Super Bomberman R, uh, as part of the Bomberman series of course, and Bomberman is pretty niche. It's a relatively niche series. Of why it has a huge fan base, it's it's still not really like it's not something that you could go up in public and say, uh, "Hey, what do you think of Bomberman?" And then hope for hope for them to say, uh, uh, "Oh yeah, Bomberman. I like that." They'll probably say, "That's Bomberman." So uh, yeah, uh, that's why. I'd Super Bomberman R won't be a system seller. As for 1-2 Switch, I mean, it does look like a fun, neat little title, but let's be real here, why would you want to buy a system for 1-2 Switch? Like, oh, I can't wait to, to uh, buy a Switch for 1-2 Switch, which I'll probably play for about 20 minutes and then uh, only play every now and again afterwards. Like, that's probably what's gonna happen. And as for the other two, Islanders Imaginators and Just Dance 2017. They are, um, they are also, like, those two games are already out. You can buy them for, like, PS4, Xbox One, uh, Wii U, uh, and, uh, like, other systems as well, which I don't know why, uh, it's on PS3, P Xbox 360, and Wii, which I don't know why they would sell them on them, but, 
they are, so I guess so. <laughs> Bear in mind though, that I'm only saying that it won't sell well at launch. You want to know why that is? Because as time goes on, there will be more games. There will be Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Mario Odyssey, and uh, lots of other games like Snipper Clips and uh, you know, just all sorts of other um, games. And uh, it's going to be like the 3DS where it won't sell well at launch, but it will sell well later on. Like, as you. As you probably remember, 3DS was selling awfully uh, when it first released, but then as time went on and uh, some months later, when it got more games, it actually ended up selling r really well. It sold a lot. So, uh, that's why I don't think that the Switch will sell well at launch, but will sell well as time goes on, like, towards the end of 2017? Definitely, it will sell a lot. Like, that's my prediction, by the way. Uh, I'm willing to bet on that. I'm also willing to bet on that. Um, Breath of the Wild takes place at the beginning of the adult timeline. Keep that a secret. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's about all I wanted to talk about. Like People are saying, oh, the Switch is going to sell well. It's going to be such a huge system. Like It's going to sell millions. And it will. But not when it comes out. It will sell amazingly. Like, towards the end of 2017, but when it releases, not so much. But yeah, that's about all I wanted to talk about. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you can leave a like, uh, subscribe to see more, and uh, if you want to um, give me any criticisms and ways I can improve, uh, let me know. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's about all I wanted to say, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Let's just, 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 let's just